we don't want sort of a, a, a hush up answer. If it's going to take some time, let us know it's going to take some time. So that work has been completed. For almost two months, the Algiers Canal Street Ferry has not been running, and now neighbors, they are skeptical about service being back by the beginning of the year. Now, with no boats, passengers are left to take a 30-minute bus ride across the Crescent City Connection. That's a long time. And yeah. just downriver, two new ferries still are sitting at the dock. So frustration tonight was boiling over as the RTA answered questions from neighbors, and Paul Dudley was at that meeting. Paul, I imagine the frustration is just woo, off the charts. Yeah, Katie, the good thing here is that they are trying to find an answer for some of these people. But however, the two brand new $10 million ferries that were delivered just last July have been sitting because of a list of safety and mechanical issues. The old ferries are not working either. Neighbors just want to know what's going on as we are now on day 52 without ferry service. This is a form of transportation. It's not a pleasure cruise. It's a five minute crossing of the river. This frustrated group of New Orleanians wants answers as to why the Algiers Canal Street Ferry is still not running. I just feel really cheated. I feel very, very cheated. And it's, it's you know part of our history here. It's why a lot of people moved here. On Tuesday night, RTA CEO Alex Wiggins announced they are in the process of finding a new operator for the ferry and that they are awaiting the results of a report to determine when the new ferries will be ready and finally able to pass Coast Guard inspections needed to carry passengers. Our next step is the, the final written report. I should have that in about two weeks. And in between now and two weeks, I'm reaching out to the boat builder, to Metal Shark, and we're going to make plans to get the boats back. While the new ferries sit, the old ones do too, meaning no ferries are running. What I think I'm hearing is that I'm about to lose 50% of my business for probably the next month and a half to two months. Adding to the frustration is the fact that the RTA has been unsuccessful in securing a charter replacement for the boats. I asked them months ago to look at a charter operation and they finally found one and it would, it's going to be too expensive. So they're, they're basically telling us no, that we're not worth it for $180,000 a month for a situation they caused. These neighbors meantime leaving another meeting feeling fed up. It's a very terrible thing that we don't have better control over our old ferry system. And Wiggins says they hope to announce a new operator by December. A date for when the old ferries or the new ferries will be back up is still unclear. But Wiggins says as soon as the report is complete, the new ferries will be sent back to the boat builder in Morgan City to be repaired. Again, no official date, but the RTA is still hoping to have them back up and running by the beginning of the year.